While vibrational state selection rules allow for a change in vibrational state of plus or minus one, two, three, etc., in practice typically only the first three are observed, and these of decreasing intensity. As described, these three transitions are known as the fundamental absorption, first overtone, and second overtone, respectively. We can see that the expressions for the transition energy include both the equilibrium oscillation frequency, omega bar e, and the anharmonicity constant, xe. Therefore, if we can experimentally measure at least two of the transitions, we can determine these quantities using simultaneous equations. The question in the example is shown. We're given more information than we need here, so we can just use the fundamental and first overtone. We write the expressions for these again and enter in the spectroscopic data given. It is easiest to first solve for omega bar e. Multiplying the first equation by 3 means that when we subtract the second equation from that, we are left with an expression just containing the equilibrium oscillation frequency. We find then that this is 2990 wave numbers. Substituting this back into either of the original equations allows us to calculate the anharmonicity constant and this value returns as 0 0.0174. Since we are given a third piece of information that we didn't use, we could check our values using the second overtone. Substituting the values in returns 8346 wave numbers, which is almost what was provided. To calculate the force constant, we just rearrange the expression for the oscillation frequency for k, and substituting in the values of the calculated oscillation frequency, the speed of light, and the reduced mass, we find a force constant of 516 newtons per meters. Note carefully here the units throughout.